Hey folks, welcome, welcome. We are here on, hey, a day that you've probably been out there shopping. If you haven't, you're probably going out soon, what have you. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving yesterday. We are glad you're tuned in this afternoon to us on MathLine. We are going to stay with the theme of the week, which is kind of crazy, insanity, all sorts of good things. But let's get ahead and look at what we are going to do for today. I'm Ernie Roberts, by the way, and I am your host for Tea and Learn's Math Line. We're glad to have you with us. Let's see what we've got going today. Specialized segment day for sure here. How about those after Thanksgiving bargains? And you know, they're percents off, they're halves off, there's thirds off, all sorts of stuff. We're going to make a little bit of sense of that because so many times when we see those, a lot of people really do, when they see a percent off, they think that's how much money they're taking off. Like 30% is $30. Not always. Not even close unless you're doing 100% of a, I'm sorry, if you're doing $100, then you're doing 30% of 100, then it's $30 off. So let's take a look at some situations here that you might encounter out there in the crazy world of hitting the mall or being mauled at the mall. Let's see what we've got going here. Caroline is has received a 30% off coupon for her purchase. Now she it's just like so many of us. We get all these things in the mail. We get all these flyers in the newspapers. We get them online. We get them everywhere saying, hey, take an additional this. Take that off, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get 30% off. That tells me they kind of mark those prices up a little bit before you get to them, doesn't it? So the original cost here is $125. So we're going to pick that up, $125. And then we're going to find a discount, 30% off. That means a discount. We're going to subtract that amount. And then we're going to see what our new price is. So here it's asked, what is the discount? What is the new price? This is where we start. This is where we started. We don't want to pay $125. No sense in it. When you're going to have a big sale, it's going to be underneath that. Okay, we're going to take you down underneath that. So let's do, first of all, let's take our basic situation. I'm going to use a proportion to figure out what is this discount, all right? And we're going to set it up with X. Let's see, we've got a 30% discount, so we're going to put 30 over 100 over there. I'm already so excited about the day after Thanksgiving. Aren't you guys already excited about the day after Thanksgiving? It's here, it's on us, it's today. And we have 125 down here in the bottom. That is our base that we're going to be basing this on. And we're going to hunt it out. What is our amount that we're going to lose? What's our discount? So we're going to multiply, and you know what, what happens when we multiply here? We cross multiply. And we end up with uh, 3,750. Now, that's not what you're going to get to subtract, okay? We'll move that in just a minute. But we have 100x going the other way here, all right? So we got 100x, and we're going to divide that 100 into this 3,750, and we're going to end up with our discount, which is nice. $37.50. Remember when we divide by 100, we simply move the decimal in two places. We're talking money here, so that is our discount. That's the discount. Now, we're going to take that $125. I'll put some decimals there. And we're going to subtract $37.50. We're going to subtract the $37.50 from there. And that's going to be the price we pay. Of course, that's before tax. We're going to add another percent onto that, but we're going to leave it just before we get to taxing, all right, today. So we're going to take and we're going to subtract. Let's do a little nice subtraction here. Um, we are going to end up with pulling out here, borrowing from the 5, which will give us 4. We're going to take a 10 here. And we don't need to go any further than that. We've got a 0 here. We've got a 5 because 10 minus 5 will give us 5. Now we've got 4 minus 7, which we can't do, so we've got to go borrow again, which is good news for us because it uh, means our price is going to go a little lower on this thing. And when we borrow 1 from the 2, we bring it over here, make a 14. 14 minus 7 picks us up at 7. And we're about there, it looks like, at $87.50. Psychologically, that's really good. Actually, it's really good to your wallet because that's less than $100 now. And even adding a good... 9 or 10% sales tax in there, you're still going to be all right. You're going to stay under 100 where you were at, 125 before tax up here. All right, so again, you're seeing how this works. That's going on in your world of shopping everywhere they're having sales. And that's what we look for when we get out there on Black Friday and on the day that we've had today. Now, I know some of you have already been out there doing it this morning. And others of you are going to go out and hit the roads tonight to find the shopping places and such. So, hey, use these ideas. Use these thoughts. 
Think about what percentages off really mean. See what they're going to do for you, all right? Here's another way they read it and write it to it. Landra wants to buy $90 worth of clothes that are selling for one-third off. Sometimes they put a fraction. Sometimes they think that'll confuse you, I guess. I don't know. A lot of my students, it would, yeah. <laughs> they don't like the fractions. Percents are bad enough, but fractions seem to be even worse. But in this case, we're going to take a third and we're going to subtract it from this 90. So we start with 90. And to take a third off, what we're going to do, we're going to multiply that amount by one-third because we want to find out what is it we're going to subtract from the 90, all right? So here we go. We take 90 and one-third of 90. That one's pretty easy. comes out even. It's nice of it to do that. We put a one under there for those of you who like to do the fraction approach. And we're going to just simply divide 3 into 90. It goes 30. Everything else is gone. So we have a 30 dollar saving here. All right, that's what Landra is going to say by taking one third of the price off. Now, if it had been one half, we would be just simply with one half left over, be $45. All right, but this is a one third off moment. But also, she goes to one of those places where it says she receives $10 off her bill for spending more than $50. Well, did she spend more than $50? We want to know. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know as we get ready for these Thanksgiving crazy madness days here and evenings and Goodness, it's going to be this way all the way till Christmas. You know that. So let's see. We've got 90. We're going to subtract the 30. You know, we got $60. So she has spent more than 50. So now she gets to subtract $10 because she has a coupon. It says if you spend $50, we'll take $10 off your order. Maybe she'd spend $100. They'd take $20 off the order. It depends on the store. But this one said over $50, you're going to lose $10 off your bill. So right now, she is now down to $50 waiting to be taxed and all the other good stuff and be heading out the door. So that's quite a savings. It's quite a savings when you add special deals together. But remember, a third simply means just that. You take a third of what you're going to spend or what you would have spent and then subtract it off, okay? Hey, if you took half off, you basically divide it two, and you would have the amount of money left that you're going to owe, all right, before taxes, of course. Always got to remember taxes will come in to haunt you after you do the discount, okay? All right, now, another option that we read about when we get out there and hit these sales, let's take a look at this one. A new pair of pants is 60, 60% 60 off. Woohoo! I like that. That's three-fifths of the way down. Or you can BOGO. Does everybody know what BOGO means? Buy one, get one, all right, for the same item. So that very same item. So in other words, instead of one pair of pants, I can get two. Now, if I just want to buy one pair of pants, I can take 60% off, okay, off that item. Now, when you do a BOGO, it depends. Some places require you to buy the second one before you can get the effect of a buy one, get one. Others will just say, hey, we'll take half of it up front since it says buy one, get one. Now, your stores always do that, all right? And so, when I'm talking about stores, I'm talking about grocery stores and food places and such. But a lot of your department stores will make you have to buy, okay, both items before you get that effect. Otherwise, you're going to pay full price for buying one, okay? But this one's give you an or. So it's, you're, going to, you're going to win some way, either way, all right? So you're going to take 60% off the main price or you can buy one, get one. Which is the better deal, all right? First of all, if you buy one, get one, you're going to buy, let's say, let's say, for example, let's use $50, all right? Let's say the item costs $50, all right? If you take 60% of 50, wow, 60% of 50, that's going to be three-fifths. Let's see what happens there. Um, believe you're going to get to take away $30. Let's check and see, folks. Three-fifths of 50, and that's going to be... Very simply, it goes to 10. We do have $30. That's not what we're paying. That's what we're subtracting. We're taking it off, all right? Now, if you BOGO, if you BOGO, all right, you're going to be getting two items for 50. You're going to be buy two for, for 50, and you could either be getting 25 possibly for each if they do it that way. But if you have to buy them both, then you got to think, do I want to spend $50 to get two pairs of pants, or do I want to just buy one pair and get for $30? excuse me, for $20. You know what? I think it's a better deal just to buy one pair of pants for $20. You save all the way around, all right? Because remember, you're going to take 50 minus the 30 to get 20. Otherwise, they're giving you a buy one, get one. And I always say it sounds like a good way to go, but you know, you've got to use some math there. Sometimes it's a little flaky. So two for 
50? Huh, that's 25 each. This was 20 each. I think this one makes a lot more sense, okay? Especially since it's the same item, same item. So again, beware. They're all out there to get your money and they want it bad. And sometimes it'll be confusing. Sometimes it'll be confusing. All right, let's take another element of the sale routine. Sometimes you go to, into a store and you've seen all these markdowns, 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 and all they have is the final markdown. And then above it, they says, prices on this rack represent 60% discounted, okay? Or after 60% off, something of that nature. So this one's a little different. This one's a little different. We wanna know what the original price was. Well, if we're paying $60 as sale, and it's a 60% discount, gee, how much did it cost before we got there, all right? And this is a little bit more interesting, all right? Let's take a proportional look on it, okay? We're gonna take a proportional look. We are going to pay $60, that's our thought, okay? You say, wow, Ernie, what's this all about? We don't know the original price, but we do know what we're paying for sale. We also realized we had a 60% discount. This is not the discount. This is what we paid. So dear friends, let's think about it a minute. If we're on a 60% discount, that means we're paying 40% of the original price, correct? Because 60 minus 100, 40%. So we're gonna put our 40 over our 100 and we're gonna see what that original price was. This looks a little expensive, okay? Looks a little bit expensive to me. Let's see what happens. We're gonna cross multiply. It's gonna give us 40 times X and 60 times 100, woo, lots of zeros, 6,000. That didn't cost $6,000, don't get nervous, all right? But when we divide by 40 to both sides, we're gonna divide 40 by, into both of these numbers. Well, 40 goes into 40, that's gone, goodbye. And over here we can lose some zeros and divide four into 600. Goodness, I believe we're gonna have a $150 item. That, dear friends, is a pretty good discount because see what we had? We started with 150 and we ended up with 60. That also tells me the discount was $90. That's what I saved. And by the way, they always love to tell you what did you save on the receipt, okay? By using either your shopper card or what you just saved today by shopping with us at such and such a place, all right? So again, that's the starting price. There's the finish and 60%, wow, that was the discount. So again, it all connects. It's all about percent. Remember this part over base equals percent over 100. You can always set these little proportions up. Again, part over the base, percent always goes over 100. Remember, we had 40% because that's what was left over after we lost 60% to the discount. So there you go. Good stuff, good practical advice for hitting those shopping trails for the next few weeks. How about the next problem here? Let's take a look at this. Everything in the store is half priced. Oh my goodness. Another coupon allows 20% off. Woo, that's, hard. That's, that's double whammy. Once the discount is taken, all right? So how much money are we gonna save on a $100 purchase? Some of you are out there going, okay, one half is 50%, you're right. And we're gonna take 20% off in addition, that's 70% off, not so fast, not so fast. It says, once the discount is taken, then we will get 20% off of what we have left. Ooh, not quite 70%. Still good, don't get me wrong, still good. But let's take a look at how that's gonna end up, all right? So first of all, we start with $100. And we're gonna take one half, because that's what we're doing. We're taking a half of everything in the store. So we basically have saved at $50. We're at $50, half of 100 is 50. Now, the question is, we're gonna take another discount off the 50, not off the 100, but off the 50, okay, what's left over. So we're gonna take $50 and we're gonna take 20%. Now, there's another way we can do this. Some of you are going like, do I just have to do those proportions? No, you can change that decimal. We would uh, change that to a decimal, that percent going to a decimal, that would be 50 times 2 tenths, times 2 tenths there, we'll put it right like that. And what the, that would give me would be $10. So actually what I'm gaining is I'm going to have $60 taken off that $100 price, which means I have a 60% discount. But how much money did I save? 50, 10 more, 
that gives me $60 saved. And you know what that means? That meant you paid $40 for all this $100 worth of merchandise, okay? So that's the way it works. That's the way a percent works. So be careful when you read the fine print, and trust me, there's fine print on a lot of items. You got to figure out, is that additional 20% off, meaning from the sale price, which usually, by the way, it does. They don't usually go back to 20% of your original price and do that. They've marked it down once and they take 20% off of what you have there. Oh, I've learned that the hard way because when I go up there, that's not right. That's not the, oh, that's the way we do it, sir. And I said, oh, okay, that makes sense. And I look and it says additional, which means they want to make sure you understand it's after they've already taken the sales price, okay? So important that we do that. So let's practice a problem like that, okay? Let's take another one here. A jacket that had original price of $90, here we go, was marked down 60%. 60%, all right? So first of all, we're going to work with them. We're going to use the multiplication approach here. We're going to take that 60% and make it into 0 0.60, 60 hundredths. How about 6 tenths, which is simply 0 0.6. We're just going to put that decimal in there, and we're going to take 90 times 6 tenths, or as I like to say, 0.6. We all love to say those decimals with just the points, but it means 6 tenths. So we're going to take 6 tenths of 90 is what we're going to do there, folks. It's really what we're going to do. So I'm going to go to a trust. I don't need a trusty calculator. I don't have my times tables. we got times tables here. So this is going to give us a nice whopping $54. You say, Ernie, is that what we're going to pay? No, that's what we're going to save. We're going to save it. So we're going to take our 90, subtract that 54. Woo! I'm already feeling good. Y'all already go shopping with me. 60% off is a great place to visit, okay? And let's see, we have $36 left over, all right? That's what we're going to do. Oh, but no, we're not done yet, are we? We're going to also take another 25%. Maybe that's a clearance item or something. They say, we're going to give you another 25% off because you came in and shopped today. All right, so let's see. 25% is the same as one-fourth. I'm going to use a fourth on this, all right? I'm going to change my 25% to a fourth. Woo, to a fourth, and here we go, one-fourth of 36. That, folks, we can divide four into the 36. It gives us nine. So here we go. We're now losing nine more dollars. So we've lost 54. Ta-da-ta. We have lost nine. So we're going to subtract the nine from that 36. Woo! This is like starting out with 90. You know, we're down to, we are down to $27. Smart shoppers, look for sales and percents of percents. They really help you out. That's a nice deal when you start out at 90. That's a great deal when you start out at $90. So there's your final price. Of course, tax will come back in it, but at $27, that's not a bad tax rate, okay? That doesn't kill you quite like the others would. All right, let's go one or two more here. How about it with a $500 TV? They love, they love to move those TVs, too, those computer modules, those, uh, goodness, those desktop things, those laptops, your iPhones, everything out there. They're dying to get you, get in, their, get in your hands for Christmas, all right? And Thanksgiving is the best time to do it. The day after Thanksgiving is when it all rocks and rolls. So let's see what's going to happen here. We are starting with $500 TV set, but they are reducing it 30%. They said, we can afford that because we marked it up more than that. So let's see, we're going to start with $500, and we're going to do 30%. So we're going to take this $500, and we're, like we did a minute ago, we're going to change that 30% to a decimal, which will be our decimal with a 3 or a decimal with a 30, however you like to look at it. I'm going to put just simply 3 tenths there, all right? And again, know my times tables. This one's going to be easy to figure out. If we take 3 tenths, that's what we're doing, 3 tenths of 500 it's going to be $150 there, $150. Now, we look at that $150 and say, wow, we get to subtract. Uh-oh, it's not 15% of this. It's 15% of whatever we have left over. So let's take the 500 minus 150. I'm getting $3.50. No, $350. There you go. $350, because we are going to subtract that first discount. There's our first discount. Now we're going to get an additional 15% off of this. I'm going to throw to the trusty calculator on this, because we're running on time, and I want to make sure we get through all our good stuff. 
So let's take 350 and we're going to multiply that by 15%. Now someone out there is probably saying, Ernie, could we have multiplied that by 85%? And then we would know exactly what we had. Yeah, we could do that too. I'm going to just make another discount for us, all right? Just because I guess I want to do that. So let's take 350 and we'll multiply that by 15 hundredths. So there we go. That's the decimal form of 15%. All right, move the decimal two places. And I come up with $52.50. Guess what? We're going to subtract that. We're going to subtract that from our TV price. So we're at $350. Let's keep subtracting. And there we go. Put some zeros in there. Let's subtract. See where we go. I'm going to do a little calculator move since we're running close on time here. I getting. $297.50. Woo! That's good. That's under $300. That makes me psychologically very happy. Have you ever noticed they always get you to the price of $299? You're really paying $300, you might as well say. Sometimes it's $299.99 and you're just going like, why bother? Just give it $300 like I did up here with $500. All right. But anyway, you get the idea. Folks, when you go out and be a shopper, be smart. Be smart. Get the best deals you can. Talk to them. They might even take even more percentage off for you. They're willing to make deals this time of the year. They definitely are. Now, let's go back to the very same problem here, but with a different question here. What percent is the total discount? All right, so here we go. We start at $500. Are you all ready for this? We wound up paying $297.50. All right. Now, the reason I'm pointing out this problem to you, you say, well, everybody knows it's 45%. No, it isn't 45%. I am going to be, well, I'm not going to be willing to bet yet, all right? Because sometimes I might look wrong if I've done a miscalculation in the head. But I'm willing to bet this is going to be just under, make me make a guess, make me make a guess, just under 35% discount. We're going to see. Actually, it's, it's going to be more than that. It's going to be pretty substantial here. It's going to be pretty substantial, all right? So we start with $350. We lost another $52. This is going to be pretty substantial, all right? So let's see where it is. But it's not going to be 45%, all right? It's going to be a little bit under 40, it looks like. Maybe a lot under 40. We're going to find out. Let's subtract this out, all right? And we got this amount. And it looks like we have saved almost $200, okay, $202.50. There we go, $252.50, $200.50. I can say that. I know I can say that. What we want to know is what was that actual discount, if that's what we end up paying before tax, of course. So we're going to take and we're going to say $202.50, and we're going to go back and divide by what we had originally. I'm going to be very close to it. I said it was around 40%, maybe just a tad over, it looks like. So we're going to take that amount and we'll divide by 500. Whew, this one's a little more complicated, wasn't it? And you know what I'm getting? I hope you're getting the same thing. I am picking up 40 and one half percent. Those of you who like decimals, which your calculator gives you, that's 40 and five tenths percent. So it's not quite 45%. You lose a little bit in the process here, but you get the idea, all right? You get the idea. But that's what's cool about this stuff, all right? You actually can see what you really are earning. And sometimes we get misled. Sometimes we're thinking we should have more, and you'll, the cash register person says, no, you don't. No, you don't. All right? But you know what? We are at the almost at the end of Math Line. We hope that you have had a great Thanksgiving weekend. Just to tell you a few of the things that we have coming up this week. We're going to be back live coming up soon. But you know, while you're going out there shopping, we do not want you to forget about MathLine, of course. But we are here basically the same time, Monday through Thursday. We are call-in show on Fridays. We usually have what we call the specialized segments. And folks, we are working right now really hard on getting into algebraic factoring and good stuff from Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 standpoint. We'll be working on those going into our Christmas holidays. We know there's a lot of testing going on. We understand that a lot of people need help. We hope you will call us in. We have a call-in number. We have phone operators here during the week. We cover any kind of questions you think you might need. You know, 
any kind of help you might need. And above all, we're here to help you work out problems together. Because as I've told you many times before, big problems are made of small problems. But you know what? So many of these things have real world applications. So many important things that we want to help you be enlightened so you can take care of yourself financially, so you can take care of yourself getting through high school, those of you who are in high school, middle school and elementary make life easier on you. And you know something? We've had so many great adults with us this year. We try to make things happen for them. Got one last little slate here. Happy shopping days. Don't get trampled. And above all, watch MathLine because if you don't tune in to us, we sure miss you and you miss us. Thanks for tuning in today. See you next week.